the and our mission, my group's mission, is to find ways for AARP to stimulate innovation in the marketplace that will benefit people over 50. And in pursuit of that, we're actually a partner of uh, Startup Health. Um, a couple of years ago, we started thinking about the various ways that we could play a role here. And what we realized initially was that despite the demographics of health, there was still a total lack particularly in the consumer patient-centric health space, a total lack of really good products and services that would address the needs of, of, of our constituents, people over 50. And so we started thinking about, well, how can we play a role in reducing the barriers to success? One of them, obviously, is reducing the barriers to getting capital. So initially, our, our, our role was to just beat on the, on the VCs and say, you know, you'd have to be an idiot to turn your back on the only humongous growth market that exists. And just to put some numbers around that, we're talking about a third of the country, over 100 million people, who spend $3.1 trillion every year in consumer spending and $1.6 trillion in healthcare spending. So um, it was kind of an easy sell, but they still weren't seeing it. And more importantly, startups were not getting a uh, thematic focus from the VCs. So we started our own pitch day, which we've now done twice, and our third one, Health Innovation and 50 Plus Live Pitch, is coming up in Boston on May 9th. If anybody, just a little pitch, if anybody wants a card, telling them when and where, it's right here. Um, and um, so in that time, in two years, we've had 400 companies, startups, apply to be on our stage, we've only had 10 finalists each time, so 20 finalists so far. Uh, 400 companies have applied, we just shut the window for the third one. And um, what is fascinating is both the quantity and the quality of the companies has improved. At the same time, we're getting uh, uh, VCs <coughs> who previously did not focus on our space wanting to be judges. So the first time we did this, all the VCs there were my friends. And, you know, it was like, okay, you're coming, right? And uh, this time, it was like, I only one of them. So Google Ventures, Postal Ventures, uh, uh, Fisher Jurvetson, uh, HLM, and Ted Med are gonna be our judges this year. But we do something that nobody else does, which we have been told by startups and VCs is actually invaluable. And that is, we introduce the consumer. So our event is held within the larger AARP event where there's 10 to 15,000 AARP members moving around. We bring them into our startup pitch day. We give them wireless voting devices, and so we have two winners. We have a judge's winner, and we have a consumer winner. And so after the entrepreneur makes their pitch, there's real-time market feedback. <laughs> one to 10, you know, bar chart, see the distribution of, of the voting. Most entrepreneurs are a little shocked that the market does not view them as the greatest thing since last spring. And then we pass the mic around, and we say, so uh, what advice would you give this guy or this woman to uh, improve their product and service so that you'd want to buy it or refer it to family and friends? And that real-time market feedback is something that particularly early stage startups don't get enough of. And last thing I'll just say is that as a result of this, the other thing that we try to do to get the attention of the VCs and lower the barriers is our job is to increase deal flow for them. So they start to see the space not as the one-off walking through the door, but start to see it as a thematic, the way they do big data, cloud, social media, uh, whatever. Um, and the last thing is providing content out to the market so they know where the needs are, and you know, together with Startup Health, identifying the VC investment trends in this space, because you have this schizophrenic, schizophrenic group of investors, right? On the one hand, they invest in the riskiest asset possible. At the same time, they're totally risk averse, right? Complete paradox, and they're all racing to be second. So you have this dynamic, and so for us, it's what are the different ways that we can reduce the barriers to success for these startups. We're not investing yet, but stay tuned.